Hey folks, Wayne Jennings here along with my buddy Sean Tucker. We're out for another one of our winter day hikes. And Sean, where are we at today? Um, I think we're at the Spring Water Conservation Area. I've never been here before, have you? Uh, yeah, actually I used to come here quite a bit when the kids were younger. Uh, nice trails, there's a nice pond here for canoeing and fishing. Uh, and in the winter they have a sort of kind of early spring, they have a maple syrup festival mm -hmm. with uh, pancakes and wagon rides and yeah. things like that. Yeah. But it hasn't started yet, uh, that's a few weeks uh, from all now. All right, fine. Anyways, there is some good hiking here, there's about eight kilometers of trails. So let's go explore. Let's check it out. So at the trailhead here, uh, there's a map. There's about eight kilometers worth of trails. So let's just take a look and see what our options are. What do you got there, Sean? Well, it looks like we have three three trails here. There's a yellow trail, a red trail, and a purple trail. So we'll sort of see how we go. Okay, maybe the yellow can take us along the pond. Oh, yeah. And then we can duck down this area, work our way back. How's that sound? That sounds like a plan to me. Like the whole plan. <laughs> Another winter hike where the weather isn't uh, too cold, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mild today. Yeah. But uh, at least we got some snow. Yeah. So in fact, it looks is, like we're winter hiking. We are, in fact, winter hiking. Still officially winter. Now I've been noticing a lot of these trail markers along the uh, the route here. <laughs> we have various trail markers that just describe what you're seeing. In this case, the eastern white pine. And take a look at this tree. It is tall and straight. That's what they used to use on the old sailing ships to build those tall, straight masts. And it's really interesting when you think that, you know, 100 years ago, 150 years ago, a large part of the province was covered with these white pine trees uh, and they came in and logged this area and there's hardly any left. It's mostly agricultural around here, uh, farm fields, but it's nice to see that there are a few of these old remaining white pine trees. Another one of the really big trees here in Springwater Forest are these immense tulip trees. There's lots of them here. They're really tall. And as you can see by the girth of them, I can barely get my arms around this one. And a lot of them are this size or even bigger. Absolutely. And look at how tall these are. Look straight up. You know, uh, on our hikes, I've always liked the part of what I like about is the history of where we are. Right. So, um, when you're reading about the that this is, where are we in? What county are we in? This is Elgin County, and apparently, this area is the largest remaining mature, or one of the largest remaining mature forests in all of Elgin County, right here. Very neat. And there's quite a variety of trees. Well, I read about that there's uh, maple, of course, uh, there is uh, chestnut, uh, walnut, uh, tulip trees, um, and one of the residents here is the, our friend the woodpecker, the pileated woodpecker. And you can see in the trees there all the spots where yeah. they've been drilling little holes. Yeah, good old woody. Nice tree stand here. Yeah, lots more of these tulip trees. Yeah. Actually, you know, without the snow, this would be really muddy. Absolutely. It's a good thing we have some snow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
Looks like we have a little fork in the road here. Yeah. Trail goes that way or continues this way. I think it's time to get out the map, see yeah. where we're at. Well, that's one thing, you know, everyone always brings something, you bring maps. I bring food and some other things, but anyways. It's good to have a map. Oh, it's good to have a map. Yeah. Uh, so. We did the red trail. This is the red trail, so that means that's got to be the yellow. Right. And, and then, then this is that purple, purple. which is the draft trail. Yep. Perfect. So, you want to head down that way? Let's and head down there. And go way back up? Absolutely, and see what's going on down here. Okay. Very good. Don't forget to pull. Oh, and here's the trail to the draft, eh? Well, what have we here? That's something you don't often see. No. Looks like art in the park. Art in the park. I've noticed yeah. uh, a few of these in here. Mm -hmm. From the St. Thomas Elgin Public Art Center. That's actually... Sort of uh, rendering of, of nature. Yeah. And, of course, that's a different season, which is kind of neat. Yeah. It's kind of a nice, neat little concept of having sort of that art and concepts of the trail. It's nice. Sometimes you find the camera doesn't know where to focus, so I have to tell it sometimes where to focus. Perfect. And actually, if I can line it up, oh, this is kind of neat. A picture of a picture? A picture of a picture of a picture. But the other neat thing is I did it so that, uh, oops, uh, it's an extension of the tree up to this tree. Look at that. Which is real, which is rea uh, drawn. Yeah, it's kind of mucky. Yeah, this is pretty impressive, this, the forest here. Um, and I think it's kind of a reoccurring theme we've had with, all, with these conservation areas where a family or an individual has um, had the land, um, has made sure that nothing has happened for it in terms of tearing down the trees and keeping it as a, as a natural preserve and a conservation area. And the, the White family um, are the ones that helped preserve this from the 1860s, basically. So it's pretty, pretty impressive. And, you know, that's now that generations can still enjoy this, this area and this forest. Um, it's just a testament to people like that that keep the conservation movement going. So every year, uh, late winter, early spring, they have a maple syrup festival around here. And you can tell it's just around the corner because I found something on this tree. Hey, Sean, come over here, take a look. Hey. Take a look what I found. What's this? On this tree, looks like we have a bucket. Oh, uh, yeah. What's in there? Wow. That's a lot of sap. It's sappy. How's it taste? Like, uh, like maple sap. Not me, I'm not the sap. Wow, that's crazy how much there is, eh? Dripping. And it say it takes 40 liters of this to make one liter of maple syrup. Well, that's, yeah. Hmm. Got some pancakes? <laughs> there is a large mill pond here at the Springwater Forest. And uh, you can see it along the yellow trail here. Of course, this time of year it is frozen, but it is a great place uh, in the summer to go kayaking, canoeing, and to do some fishing. Gotta get some interesting shots. All right.
definitely getting a little mushy as it warms up here. Yeah, as it's uh, like I had my thick socks on today. It's that time of year, isn't it? Right time of year. Well, looks like we're near the end here. According to my GPS watch, that's about 6.2 kilometers. Oh, that's bad. Not bad for three trails. Yeah, a walk in the woods. Yeah. On a nice day. Yeah, always good. Get out for a walk in the woods. Invigorates you. Keeps you keeps you going for the rest of the week. Until the next adventure. For sure. Yes, indeed. Okay.